Dear students, now we are going to discuss Channel Assignment Strategies in Wireless Mobile Communication. Channel Assignment is an important cellular concept in mobile communication. It is mainly used for efficient utilization of available radio spectrum. So that means all the users within the coverage area must be served completely in order to improve the capacity of the cell and also to minimize the interference. Channel assignment is mainly used to meet the traffic demands effectively. Traffic demand in the sense when the mobile user is moving from one cell to another cell, here how the cells are managed to hand over the signal from one cell to another cell that is decided by this channel assignment. So it is very important to meet the traffic demands effectively in the mobile communication process. There are two types of channel assignment strategies available in this mobile communication. One is fixed channel assignment. The next one is dynamic channel assignment. So what is mean by fixed? That means each cell is allocated with a fixed number of voice channels. So here the number of channel is predetermined. So predetermined set of frequency channels are assigned permanently. But in this dynamic channel assignment, voice channels are not allocated to the cells permanently. So based on the call request, the channels are allocated. Do you all understand this one? So here the number of channels is fixed. Here it is not permanently fixed. So based on the call request, the channels will be allocated to the user. Okay. So here we are going to discuss each type in detail. Fixed channel assignment. So in this one, each cell is allocated with the fixed number of voice channels. So whenever there is a call request, then the unused channel within this limit is allocated to that particular call. So unused channels are allocated to any call attempt within this cell coverage area. If all the channels are occupied or busy with the subscribers, for example, 100 channels are allocated to each cell. So all these 100 channels are occupied with the 100 users. If one more user is trying to connect the service, then that particular new call is blocked and that subscriber does not receive any service. That is the major problem in this fixed channel assignment, but that can also be rectified by using the concept borrowing strategy. So borrowing in the sense, in this cell, all the 100 channels are busy with the users. For this additional user, it is going to borrow the signal or channel from the neighboring cell. So out of this 100 channels, if there are any free channels available in the neighboring cell, can be borrowed for this new user. Okay, so that is called as borrowing strategy. So in this method, a cell is allowed to borrow channels from a neighboring cell. Okay, so there is one condition that is that borrowing channel does not interfere the progress in this particular cell. So if it is free, we can get it. Otherwise, we should not disturb this neighboring cell. So here, the cell which is donating the channel is called as donor cell. The cell which is accepting the channel is called as acceptor cell. So here we can say it is going to borrow channel from this neighboring cell. It is called as acceptor cell. It is going to donate one channel to this cell. It is known as donor cell. So this borrowing strategy can be monitored and supervised by the MSC. So what is mean by MSC? That is mobile switching center. So this mobile switching center is going to monitor the borrowing procedure. Okay. As we discussed, borrowing strategy is an important concept in this channel assignment. So in this method, a cell is allowed to borrow the channels from a neighboring cell if all its own channels are occupied. 
So here the cell that accepts the channels from the neighboring cell is known as acceptor cell. The cell that donates the channels that is known as donor cell. So here we can use mobile switching center to monitor the borrowing procedure mainly to ensure that the borrowing channel does not interrupt or interfere the progress in donor cell. Okay. So here the major disadvantage is the fixed channel assignment is not much flexible with the user because it is fixed. Okay. So if you want to increase the number of channels we can borrow the channels from the neighboring cell. So that is a major drawback in this fixed channel assignment. So the next concept is dynamic channel assignment. So in this one the voice channels are not allocated to the cells permanently. So there is no fixed number of channels allocated to each cell. So only based on the call request the channels will be allocated to the cell. If there are more number of calls that is high traffic then more number of channels are assigned to that particular cell. If the traffic is less, less number of channels are allocated to the cell. For example, if the cell is having the call request for 50, then only 50 channels are allocated to that cell. If the number of calls are increased, then the number of channels is also getting increased. So high traffic, more channels, low traffic means less number of channels are allocated to the cell. So simply we can say, Channel allocation will take place as per the need of the cell. The major advantages of dynamic channel assignments are all the available channels are accessible to all the users. Thereby we can increase the channel utilization and also to reduce the probability of a block descent. The major disadvantage the increased storage area and also the computational load. So this is the major disadvantage. Okay.